I don't know if Matthew or Michael are watching this, but this is a true story. Okay, so the first time that I went snowboarding, it was in Wisconsin. The same exact same exact time, right? So when we went, we went with uh, we went with two other like family friends or two other family friends families so basically there was like a group of 20 of us okay so anyways we were at the ski hill or the snowboarding hill whatever the heck you want to call it and we were going snowboarding just for the kids so just for all of us just for the kids like we wanted to experience it etc etc now so all the kids were snowboarding or skiing and one of my mom's friends family's dad so like the dad of the other family um was like guys like he guys bear in mind he's like probably like four like 50 he's like in his lower 50s he was like, guys, I got this shit. I can snowboard better than these kids. Like, he was, like, full of himself. You know what I'm saying? So, hold on. He was full of himself. I'm just going to talk for the rest of this stream right here. So, he was just like, guys, I got this. I can I can go skiing. I can't snowboard because I might break my legs. He's 50, guys. He was like, I can ski, guys. I can ski. Trust me. And then every, all the parents were like, don't do it. Don't do it. You're going to get hurt. You're going to miss work. Don't do it. Don't do it. But he's like, guys, I got this shit. I got this. So he was just full of himself, right? So he gets on top. So he, he, he rents out a pair of skis. And he was just like, I got this. Don't worry. I don't need an instructor. I don't need to take lessons. I got this. So he like, so basically imagine a hill, right? So there's a big hill. It's like a bunny hill. And then you need to grab onto this big rope. And the rope literally drags you up the hill like while you're on your skis or your snowboard you get pulled all the way to the top of the hill and then you go down first funny part he grabs so he's on his skis he's like he's like waddling going towards the rope he grabs onto the rope and he's like mark what do i do and i'm like you just hold on keep your skis straight and you go all the way up to the top of the hill and then you let go he grabs onto the rope <laughs> he grabs onto the rope he start it starts pulling him up the hill oh this is his skis right imagine his skis all the, he's like halfway up the hill. All of a sudden, you see his skis just going apart. Going apart. He's fucking doing the splits. He's like halfway up the slope. You All of a sudden, you hear him yelling. He's like, my skis are going apart. What do I do? He starts yelling his fucking, like his, his lungs off. He's just yelling. He's like, I can't get them together. We're just like, let go. Let go. And he's like, what do you mean let go? He's halfway up the hill. Let go. He lets go. He falls on his face. He's like, fuck. I don't know how to get up. And we're just like, be careful. We'll come up to you. So then me and Michael, we grabbed onto the rope on our snowboards. And then we we go up like, it's like three fourths up the hill, three fourths up the fucking hill. And we're just like, all right, here we go. We're going to get you up and we're going to get you down safely. He's like, okay, I got you guys. I trust you. I can do this. So he imagine guys, he's like a big guy. He's a big guy, 50 years old on skis. So he's on the floor. Like fucking face down in the snow. Me and Michael pick him up. Like we're we're still on our snowboard. We pick him up and we're just like, all right, we're gonna guide you down, and we'll we'll be safe. We're good. We'll guide you down. He's like, no, just help me up. I got the rest. Trust me, I can do this. Or like, oh fuck, dude, this is about to be so bad. We help him up, right? We help him up. Me and Michael help him up. And he's just like, he sits down on his ass. He just sits down. He's like, all right, you you two go first. I'll watch how you guys do it. And I'll be fine. I'll go. I'll go soon. I'll go soon. So me and Michael go down. We get down to the bottom safely. We look up. He's still sitting on his ass. And we're like, "Oh, come down. You're you're good. Come down." He's like, "Ah, give me give me 15 minutes. I'm just resting. Give me 15 minutes." Literally sat there for 15 minutes and just just sat there. He was probably contemplating his life. Like, why the fuck did I come up here? Like probably like 20 minutes goes by all of a sudden we see him get up right like we and by this time me Michael and the rest of the kids We've gone down like 30 40 times. You know what I'm saying cuz we're, we're snowboarding like we're kids and He finally gets up and then he's just like all right. I got this. He's just like he yells He's like he yells to his wife. He's like mom you know, Like he calls his he calls his wife mom or mom or something, but he's just like mom get the camera I'm watching make sure you film this. Oh My god funniest part here it comes he gets up He's just like, he's three fourths up the bunny hill. So he's not all the way at the top, but he's like almost there, right? He's just like, I got this shit. He gets up, starts skiing down. And guys, for a split second, I thought he was a pro. He was like halfway or three fourths up the bunny hill. He's like skiing down. I was like, oh shit, he's got it. And all the parents were cheering. All the parents and all the kids we were like, yes, you're doing it. You're doing it. Like he's going down. He's like, he's swerving. He's carving into the snow. And I'm like, oh shit, he's actually got this. Oh shit, he's got this. Oh my God, here comes the bad part. He gets like almost, so if you imagine, so here's the hill. At the bottom of the hill, there's this huge half circle. 
huge half circle that you're supposed to stop at. Like that's where the like the bottom of the hill is. He's fucking carving. He's a pro. He's carving. Shh, shh. We were like, shit, he's got this. Gets to the bottom of the hill. All of a sudden, like you just you just know he's, something's messed up. He's like fucking, I can't stop! And we're like, oh shit! He had no idea how to break. We forgot to teach him because we thought he knew. We don't we didn't know how to teach him how to break. So he fucking so it's a half circle. Imagine half circle. There was like there's barricades. It's like it's like uh, banner barricades. Goes through the barricade. And if if you guys know what a ski hill is, there's a shit ton of trees everywhere. Through the fucking barricade, all of a sudden you hear everyone screaming. Like everyone's like, shit, shit, what's going on? Goes down, hits, goes through the barricade into the tree line. And all we hear is like a shit ton of noise. We were just like, he's dead. Like we were fucking around, but we kind of were like felt bad. We were like, he's dead. He's dead. We, there's no way he's living. Oh fuck, we messed up. He... <laughs> We go down into like this ditch where there's a shit ton of trees. He's fucking dead, guys. No. And then we go down. He's sitting uh, like no joke, like cartoon style. Imagine a big ass like tree. He's literally like hugging the tree with his like. <laughs> Sun rain from my boy Hawaii. Hawaii, thank you so much for the raid. We're getting to the end of the story. Imagine a cartoon. He was literally like hugging, like imagine hugging the tree with his 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 feet were like a, a, like outwards like this, like as if he hugged the tree. He literally ran into a tree at full speed, going down the slope, and li that was it. That was literally it. He just. And then the next day, he had to go to the hospital because he he needed to get his back checked just in case, dude. It was so bad. It was so bad, but it was so funny at the same time, dude. Oh, my God. It was... But he looked like a pro, guys. For real? He looked like a pro. He was just carving down the hill, but he did not know how to stop. Fucking went through everything. Mint Oreo, dude. Seven month resub, man. Thank you so much for the support, dude. Much love. Guys... I am going to be ending off my stream here. I want to watch the rest of the football game with my family. They're waiting for me downstairs. So I do appreciate all of you guys for coming out today for Sub Sunday. 